Look with me in verse number 8. And it was so when Elisha, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses and his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go, wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. Now we'll pause there in verse number 10 for a second. <clears throat> so you and I can appreciate the scene. Naaman gets the gold and the silver together, the raiments of clothes, he puts on his captain of the host uniform, puts on his best, gets the best chariot and the best horses, he has the servants clean up, get dressed in their best servant outfits, and he goes to the doorway of Elisha, and he says, now something fancy should happen. Elisha should come out and just ooh and ah the situation. And he's excited and anticipatory about what's going to happen. Verse number 11. <clears throat> but Naaman was wroth and went away, and he said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Are not Abana and Harpar rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel. May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. Pause at verse number 12. <clears throat> I think what Nehemiah was looking for was Benny Hinn. <coughs> Then he had to come out in his white suit to the choir singing, How Great Thou Art. And that Benny Hinn would take off his Holy Ghost coat. Ruh -ruh. And give it the Holy Ghost way. And all the people follow him. They're slain in the Holy Spirit. Surely, Elisha will come out and wave his hand over the spot where the leprosy is at. Or at least he'll come out and do the many hit thing and, and do the Holy Ghost. Maybe he was expecting the Roman Catholic thing. Uh-oh.
They want something grand. They want something big. We come with a big problem, and we want the waving of hands. We want the incense. We want the banners. We want the fancy stuff. We want all of, the, all of that. And God gives us something little. Just something basic. That's it? That's all I have to do to be saved? Why? That's an insult to me. I refuse that. I'm not going to. It can't be that simple. Yes, it can. Amen. Yes, it can.